Doctors at the Hospital ng Maynila are hoping that the temporary closure of the hospital will give health workers enough time to recover, not just physically, but also mentally. But, just as, uh, but as Jenny Dongon finds out in this report, there's one other problem they're facing. We get four to six DOAs in a day, so that's a lot for a, a hospital like us. No, we don't. You don't. You get, don't get to see those numbers daily. It's quite alarming. The surge of patients in Hospital ng Manila started this month. Sadly, a large number of patients brought to them were already dead on arrival after they were refused admission by other hospitals. Doctor Uy describes this scenario as the worst she's seen in years. Despite reaching full capacity in terms of manpower and bed utilization, Usma tries to accommodate all patients rush through its doors. Pag harap mo na yung patients, and you see that they are really in desperate na to get at least malang um, uh, emergent care. Yesterday, Manila Mayor Isko Moreno ordered the temporary closure of the hospital until August 9. This after 15 of Usma's medical workers contracted the virus. 32 are still awaiting test results. 58 others were identified close contacts of the confirmed cases and have been ordered to go on isolation. All of the 25 beds allotted for COVID-19 patients in USMA are currently occupied, including 11 hospital staff, forcing nine symptomatic patients to stay in makeshift tents outside the hospital. Dr. Uy admits this is far from ideal. We are forced to have a con uh, a, a plan B or contingency plan for these patients kasi wala sila mapupuntahan kisaw it, itaboy mo sila. Dr. Uy hopes the temporary closure of the institution will give doctors and nurses much needed rest. It's really not just exhausting physically but also mentally and emotionally. I think healthcare workers uh, are the ones who see firsthand no, the pain of the the relatives who don't get to see their patients that die, no, kasi ina isolate natin. We, the healthcare workers, also have um, fear, no, na of contracting the infection themselves, and also for their families. Meanwhile, hospital services are also suspended, except for laboratory operations. Those already admitted in the hospital will be taken care of. For News Five, Jenny Dongon, We Are One News.